Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about factoring perfect square trinomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now basically guys, this is one is the pattern on how to factor out perfect square trinomials. But the problem here is that how are we going to recognize whether these given trinomials are under perfect square trinomials? So what are the things that we need to check if these are perfect square trinomials. First, check if the first term is a perfect square term. Second, check if the third term is also a perfect square. Then also check if this middle term is, has the value of positive or negative to AB, wherein we will multiply the square roots of the first term and a second term, and then multiply it by 2. Now, for you to understand well, how are we going to know if this one is a perfect square trinomial, let's get the square root of the first term. The first term is x squared. What is the square root of x squared? The square root is x, meaning the first term is a perfect square. Next, let's get the square root of the third term, which is the 49. What is the square root of 49? The answer is 7. Now we will see if we will multiply this value by 2, we'll come up with 14x. So we have here 2 times x, which is the value of a, times the value of b, which is 7. Then let's multiply. 2 times x is 2x times 7, that would be 14x. And as you can see, we've got the middle term, meaning this trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. So the question here, how are we going to apply this pattern? Because these are perfect square trinomials and these are the factors. As simple as this, magcreate ka lang dito ng parenthesis, then exponent of 2, the value of a, is the square root of the first term, which is x. The value of b is the square root of the third term, which is 7. Then copy the sign here. Since this one is plus or positive, it will be positive. So what is the factor? Or what are the factors? The correct answer is x plus 7 raised to the second power. Or we can also express this one as x plus 7 times x plus 7. Okay? Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given x squared minus 10x plus 25. Now we need to check first if this one is a perfect square trinomial. So get a square root of x squared, which is definitely x. Next, square root of the third term, which is 5. Now let's see. By multiplying this 2 to 2, 2 times x times 5, that is 10x. In a sequence, three, we've got 10x, meaning this one is a perfect square trinomial. So let's apply the pattern, parenthesis, parenthesis, squared. Get the value of the square root of the first term, which is x, followed by 5. Then copy the sign, which is minus. Therefore, the factors are x minus 5 squared or x minus 5 times x minus 5. As simple as that, guys. Okay? So I hope in the first two examples, you've got already the concept on how to factor perfect square trinomials. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, we are given 25x squared plus 20x plus 4. So check natin if the first and the second, the last term are both perfect squares. So the square root of 25x squared is 5x. For the last term, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Now let's multiply this 2. 2 times 2 times 5x. 
What is the correct answer? 2 times 2 is 4, times 5, that is 20, and then 20x. As you can see, they are the same, meaning this one is a perfect square trinomial. Parenthesis, square, get this, this is 5x. Then, copy this sign, plus, and then, the square root of this, 2. And as you can see, these are the factors, or this is the factor of the third given example. Now let's move on with item number four. So let's try to do mental calculation only. If we will get the square root of 64, the answer is 8. The square root of x squared is x, meaning this is 8x. Now, what is the square root of 1? 1. Then we will try to multiply. 8x, sorry, 2 times 8x, that is 16x, times 1, that would be 16x, meaning this one is a perfect square trinomial. Now, what is the answer? We have 8x, then copy this sign, minus the square root of this, which is 1, we have minus 1, and then squared. And this is the correct answer for item number 4. Now, guys, as part of our routine, let me give you an example, or example number 5, where in, I will ask you to factor this perfect square trinomial, and kindly put your answer in the comment section below. So we have x squared minus 8x plus 16. So let's see if you learned something from this video. So that's it, guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to factor perfect square trinomials. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!